hello there. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, looks like we got a beautiful weekend. It's going to be nice. Sunny day today, sunny tomorrow, sunny Sunday. So I think you'll hopefully get out and enjoy some of that weather. So that's pretty cool. Um, today, what we're taking a look at is our second of our three-point series of what to do at the end of the year when it comes to our e-learning or our um, technology for the uh, summer. Uh, last week, we talked about some iPad and then some apps, um, different things you could do to you know, put those as a priority or ones that you liked, uh, writing those down, stuff like that, um, being able to keep track of all those cool things. Um, when it comes to some of the apps that you use with your iPads. The next two weeks, we're going to take a look at our LMSs, um, focusing in on Google Classroom and Canvas. Um, so what I thought we would do today is we would take a look at some things that you can do with your Google Classroom, if you use Google Classroom, on how to, do I save it? Do I get rid of it? What do I do with it? Um, especially at the end of the school year. So let's take a look at the screen here. And I'll show you what I do when I shut mine down um, at the end of the year. So if I take a look at my screen, you are going to see where I'm already uh, in my classroom. So here's my dashboard. Here's all the classes that are open right now. Okay, so I've got a couple that I use for uh, like a, a a dump class. So like when I'm doing outdoor education, so you can see S1 2020, S2 2020. Um, those two right there are what I consider as my um, dump classes or where I dump my things into and get my folders from for the next year. Um, classroom tech room. Uh, this is a class that I have set up for uh another teacher that's going to be flipping their class so we're going to use that so that one will stay so let's take a look here so here is sec uh let's open up my first semester this is one of the classes that i have in terms of my um, class that i i pull a lot of my um, questions from this was from my first semester of 2020. We organize everything. I have all my folders, files, and stuff, the things that we did. And so I really don't want to get rid of that one. Not that you actually would get rid of that one, but that's like my class that we pull a lot of stuff on. My Here's my outdoor education uh, semester two, 2020. So let's say that this is this year's class. What you'll want to do is you can archive it. So I'm going to click on my three dots, and I'm simply going to archive it. A, um, uh, a message will come up. So it'll say archiving a class causes it to be archived for all participants. Archived classes can't be modified by teachers or students unless they're restored. And this class removed uh, to your archive class files will remain. So that it still stays. Well, simply what you're doing is you are getting rid of that off your dashboard. Okay. Now say, oh man, I really don't want to archive that class. Is it gone forever? No, it's not. You can simply close your three lines. Click on your archived classes to the left, and you will see, let's see here, there it is right there. All I would ha simply have to do is restore it, and I want to restore it. It will leave the archived class. I go back to my classes, and there it is. So even if you archive a class, you can actually restore it. But one of the things that's nice about archiving it is it gets it cleaned up um, off of your dashboard. So like if I was to take a look at all my classes, you know, if I added those classes and then all my archived classes, I mean, there are just tons of stuff in there that I don't really want on my board, on my dashboard. So it just kind of makes it nice, uh, makes it nice and clean. So. Um, you can still pull files from your archived classes, uh, but they're already in your drive. So what I'd recommend doing is like, here is my class right here, my outdoor education class that Brady and I teach. Um, and this is where we pull all, 
or um, documents from. I could use my drive. I add things that I thought is pretty cool that maybe in my next semester we'll use. Um, I'll drop it also into my outdoor education class, um, this one right here, as it is my uh, quote unquote dump class where all my uh, files are at. Makes it easy for me. That's just the way that I organize it. So, but that's what you can do at the end of the year for your, um, after you've done all your grading and stuff like that, just archive your classroom if you use Google Classroom. Um, and that makes it really nice. Uh, to be able to pull up some of those old files that you might have that you're like, oh, I did this. Where's it at? It's already in that class. So just a little helpful tip, maybe, for those of you that use Google Classroom. Um, like I said, you uh, you won't lose any of the files that you've used. You can actually open up an archive class, take a look at it, and be able to do some other things with it if that's your choosing. If not, you can just leave it in your archives and just stays archived there as long as you are employed at Warsaw Community School. So. A little tip for you for end of the year on how to clean up your Google Classroom. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hopefully you get to go out, enjoy the weekend. And like always, thanks for all you do. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.